when we look at the old stories, they are surprisingly consistent about certain things. They end up with us running and screaming, and when they they usually say they took women, which could have meant any of us, and took the ones they want. That's not asking. It sounded like rape to me. Oh, that rape and so, kidnap. Yeah, rape, kidnap, using. And it's the beginning of a faulty idea here on this planet that something can just come, take us, use us, and do whatever it wants. And I think it's... I think the trauma that's been left in our DNA because of that event is what we're fighting. We say, you know, it's colors or it's religion or it's... um, Shade, shades of skin or province or territory. Now I think it's something else and we know something's wrong and we're reacting actually to each other on a global scale as people who are frightened by trauma, that they have been abused. You usually lash out. You have a tendency to grab more than you need just because you think you're not going to have enough. We are acting classic case of either Stockholm Syndrome where we, you know, love our torturers or acting like we are so badly traumatized that we need to take everything we possibly can because we don't think we're going to have enough and, and we're frightened. We're frightened. And I think that's the big thing that we're going to have to get over. We're going to have to do something that's almost impossible to get over our trauma and start working together and learning how to talk to each other because anyone who's been traumatized realizes there's a process. Anyone who's been raped realizes you almost never get over that. You say you're over it, but you're not only not over it, you pass that on. So we need to do some real intense healing inside before we can stop any of this the governments can't stop because they're dealing with the same thing we got to get enough of us and then the people who who actually have gotten over the trauma and stop hating and can really bond and trust again because that's going to be really hard need to take that idea and spread it and at first it's going to be really tough because nobody, nobody's going to want to hear it. People don't want to hear that they're hurting, that they're mad because they're hurting. And everything around is hurting. That's why governments are grabbing everything, raping our planet. Because what happens when people are abused? They become abusers. But I'm not looking at it as isolated incidents. I think it's something the entire planet is struggling with. Same trauma. What do you think about that? That matters. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a very interesting uh, uh, outlook on that because, as you say, as above, so below, and uh, as within, so without. So we're seeing a vast amount of abuse being exposed Yes. More and more um, people are, are beginning to understand. I mean, we're yes. having this thing in, in Britain where uh, victims of a single, a, sing- a single celebrity rapist who is the biggest serial rapist ever to be uh, recorded in British history yes. turns out to be the illegitimate son of the illegitimate daughter of some some of the well, some black noble somewhere and uh, becomes like uh well i mean he he was all over my childhood and my you know my entire life really this this character was there and uh, a very curious character he was now we find out you know that he was so um uh, that's the word uh, manipulative so uh, so chameleon so uh, just everything that is slimy about 
anybody who's ever been slimy, you know, the creepiest of creepies, uh, this guy was. Um, and he was a magician to boot. And actually, a lot of people find pe uh, magicians um, creepy because they're people who use power. Clowns. I hate clowns. Yeah, well... He thought we we all thought he was a bit of a clown, you know. He was, he was like, looks like it, like he, the glass was too big. You know, people don't really talk about it, but you notice that he yeah. does. He does the almost circus clown look with the glasses too big, the weird colored clothing, the the bright yellow primary baby colors. Yeah, very much the court jester. I just got the hippie jeebies. Hypnotic colors. Hypnotic colours, the um, like the the Harlequin. Yes. Hypnotic colours, like the. Uh, now we were talking about. Um, how is it My, Miley Cyrus doing that twerky thing with the guy with the stripy trousers and the whole thing about stripy trousers? I, oh yeah. I, I always had a thing about stripy trousers. Actually, I always thought they were really cool looking. So now I know why, because they have this kind of magical power. Um, uh, but I never really have the legs, never had those kind of long, skinny, rock star legs that where, where they really look good on, you know, proper pair of stripy drain pipes. They're, you know, they're really cool looking trousers, I think. I'm going to pass on the stripy trousers. They always just look like one of those wheels with the black and white spinning around. That's all I see when I see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're really great for appearing on TV. <laughs> Like like a what's that, a hound's tooth check um, <laughs> jacket. They love that. Ah, take that off. <laughs> yeah, go to a wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Go and get something plain. It's the. It creeps me out even just thinking about that combination, and it's supposed to right. And they're finding all kinds of stuff all over the planet of not just some abuse, but dead bodies in in that. Uh, I think it was in Ireland, this home for um, unwed mothers. They found over 800 bodies. They found they found some more bodies on um, another native school. So that's coming up. Until like they get under the Vatican. Yes. Well, not under the Vatican. This was in Canada. And well, yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean... <laughs> Vatican, yeah. But There's, you're right. Right, it's coming up. Yeah, it's it's all coming up, and it's coming up from underground. Underground, everything's coming up from underground. You see, and this, this again, this yeah. confirms the same process that we've been talking about: is yeah. the uh, the expansion from within that yes. we're all experiencing from the Earth to ourselves to the solar system to the galaxy. Yes. Uh, and it just goes on uh, because whatever it is that we're made of, whatever synapses those super galaxies are, whether we're just one kind of great big eyeball globe thing somewhere in some dimension, I don't know. Oh, Oops. No. Yeah, I just lost myself again. Anyway, come back here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Down the dimensions we go. Um, and, and how. How that relates to us. Okay, so we've got these cycles. So we've got the, the cycle from the, uh, the sun to the, to the, uh, to the earth. Um, so there must be a cycle from the earth to the, to the moon. Yes. Um, and it's like a quarter of a million miles. Uh, you know, what's it? It's, like, it's about 10 million miles a minute. Isn't it? So it's a... Uh, I don't know. Anyone got the uh, the time it takes for light to get to the moon? Oh, I probably have that somewhere. Yeah, yeah I'm sure somebody. I'm sure somebody will will uh, will have that data that they. Can... It's close to the circulation of our, our blood in our body. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, it's a, it's a cycle that will yeah. that we'll notice. Uh, yeah, if... and it's trying to tell us something again, and. Everything I think we're seeing and we feel and all this stuff is going on on so many levels. Uh, it is, it's all allegory for something else that's really happening. We could be cells communicating 
to each other. What we're doing is communicating. We could be cells in the same body. We could be cells in the same, we could be planets in the same solar system. We are all part of perhaps solar system sun. And it's all allegorical for something else. Like when we see, I finally come out and said, you know, what we think we're seeing isn't right. We don't see shades of light. Light and dark doesn't really exist. What we are detecting, and then our eyes and our brain, you know, kind of sort that out to tell us what we're seeing. We are reacting to vibration and movement. We translate that to color and temperature. So things that are really dark are physically cooler. We feel them. It's still a translation of what's going on because we're not seeing what's really going on and we are not just these things. But the more we look at it, we'll find out how we work, how we're all really connected, and we're probably, who knows, particles in something's eyelash, all of us. Could be something that simple.